Yes, yes, party people. Welcome one and all to the 469th episode of the Hospital Podcast. Just going to give a big shout out to some people in the chat right now. Jasper, Lena and Tom, Noel Montoya, Hashberg, uh, the amazing name Babyface Bastard. That is absolutely incredible. I love that. Salute to Snuffleblocks, King K, Gordon, everyone that is locked in, locked on. And you know what? I'm going to kick things off with you guys right now with an absolute hospital classic. So yeah, uh, welcome to the 469th episode and let's go. Hey, Knuckles, man, I don't understand your trip, man. And yeah, just to let you guys know as well, this is a bit of a special episode because we've got the amazing Anais joining me for a quick interview and of course to go over her new Ultrasounds EP which came out on Hospital Records on the 4th of November. But for now, here's a bit of high contrast, let's go. Once again, big salute to everyone that's looking into the podcast right now. And of course, the announcement for hospitality on the beach was announced today. Is that right, George? Was it today? It was today. Oh, it's... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got it wrong. I, I can't even hear what you're saying, but it's it's yesterday. It was yesterday. I hope you guys are going to be joining us again in Tisno. And yeah, like I said, episode 469, we've got Anais joining us for a little interview and a little chat, and we're going to have some fun with some music. And yeah, big salute once again. Let's go. Yes, yes, party people. So yeah, to everyone in the chat, let me know where you're locking in, locking on from. I can see that Chris Webb is listening, tuning in from work. Please, I don't want to get you in trouble with, with, with your boss, mate. You know, that's all I'm saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> Caterina El Dorado. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's have a look. So we got Oslo in the house. We have got Germany in the house. Cambridge, they're at work, but they can't stop me in Georgia. That's amazing. Locked in from Denmark, Bradford, sunny South East London. Big up Barry D, my friend. Listening in from home at 5 p.m. I love that, man. Guys, it's amazing to see just how many different countries, cities from all around the world that we get to spread this beautiful drum and bass music around. I want to give a massive shout out to the star of the Dex cast as well, Catalina El Dorado Harrison, who is live in the chat. love this one man yeah this track right here is called exile and dj hybrid sorry those are the artists <laughs> and the track title is be mine and this one's out right now and you know what i'm gonna play some old school jump up why not let's do this people Yeah, big salute to California, West Coast, US, Dizzy Orca, Mel Fez, Fat Alt. I'm not gonna, I can't, can I, I can't say that on camera, can I? Nah. <laughs> FOS, <laughs> I love you, my friend. Big up LZ, big up Keizu Beats, big up Tim, man. Katarina's laughing, man. <laughs> Big up FOS. <laughs> We'll 
Right, some new music from Sense MC. Let's do this. Celebrations, I am higher than you. No levitation. Yes, party people, man. Big up Saint Seven. Big up Master Contraster. The Barry D Show. Of course, Kazu Beats and Melfez. So yeah, this track right here is called No Levitation. It's by Sense MC Creatures and Filth, who just put an EP out. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, my friend Dizzy Orca, man. Big respect. Big salute to Katarina El Dorado Harrison. Hospitality on the beach, gang. We're gonna miss Albania, but tis not. You know what, people? If you're feeling this new one from Sense, Creatures and Filth, I'm a play so just do me a favour, put some fire emojis in the chat for me, please. I've just been chatting to Matty Sense. I've been asking him, please, brother, please send me some music. I genuinely think that he is one of the best MCs that we've ever had in DMV. And uh, I know he's put a lot of stuff out on Fathom and Flex Out and other labels like that. But I just want to hear more of it, man. I really do. Bit of verse is just part of the vision. I bend the words till they are what they isn't. Most of my feedbacks are snarl of derision. They're talking firewall, I'm talking particle fission. Let's part the tradition. Transmute, I know, I found it hard to understand too. Black ink, till walls, a black room. The only thing nature abhors is a vacuum. Zack too. Smoke on the water, shades of deep purple, each moment is torture. Every second searching for the blessed. Yeah, yeah, fire in the chat. Serotonin and sedatives, please. Still navigate these seas with relative ease. The memories are ebbing like a delicate dream. A skeleton dressing with the heroin chic. I think it's not about you, cause she said it to me. See, I big up once again, sense, creatures and filth. Damn. 
Yeah, you need to cop this, people. Like I said, in every single podcast episode, I'll make sure that I put the track list uh, and everything in the chat after the show. I think it's not about you, because she said it to you. Yeah, this amazing piece of music that you can hear right now. From two fantastic artists, Beeson and Dynamite MC. So yeah, just to let you know that this is on Solvent Records and Solvent Soul Music 2022 comes out this Friday. Uh, I believe it's available to pre-order now. This is one of the instant singles from there. I'm going to play another one from two artists called BC and Track. So yeah, to all my American gang inside, obviously, you know, I'm talking about 1MC Sense, a British guy. This guy, Track, I grew up listening to a lot of New York hip hop and his sound and his voice and his lyrics and his just general demeanor. He's an amazing guy. He's generally my, probably my favorite North American MC. So like I said, I really hope you like this one. Hands up, let's go. (laughs) Hey, George has got his hands up in the background, man. You can't see it, but he's having a rave up. Sorry, bro, I didn't mean to embarrass you. Right time for some BC and track. Let's do this. It's the invasion of the body Party tracker, sturdy in my concrete stature. Every sentiment rocks, it's all evident. Whole team coming through past, we all gentlemen. Selected by selectors, protected as prize possessions. Understanding life inside the aggression, passive, plus it's mastered. Right with the production, let's just the levers to push another level up destruction. Coincided by the rhythm, so they hear us. Flex of the jungle, no vines, bushes, or rippers. Still, it's like the now currently floating through the trenches. Executed in style, the outcome's tremendous. One of a kind, unique in design. As you float across the floor. I love how you guys are like having a full on conversation in the chat. I love this podcast, man, it's too much. Separate the lies from the truth. absolutely incredible man I'm telling you track he is a special special lyricist he's someone that I really really like he's a good friend of mine uh, and yeah he's got that kind of q-tip sound going on man so yeah big up track yeah. oh. 
Some more soul music. This one from Vector and Roof Royal. This track is called What I Want. And yes, I know Mel said in the chat, if anyone wants me for the US Tour 2023 January, the dates are flying out. Let's go. Sorry, I'm not ignoring you guys. I am literally just letting this beautiful vocal. You know, Ruth Royal is one of my favorite vocalists, one of my favorite songwriters. And do you know what? She's actually emerged as an amazing kind of like DJ, producer, vocalist, songwriter. I don't know, she can probably do more keepy uppies than me. And also, speaking of keepy uppies, George, is it true the World Cup starts on Sunday? How is that? The, is that a good segue or what? I mean, I'm, I'm smart. So there's Americans in the chat, right? And I believe England's first game is on Monday against the, you know, strong footballing nation of Iran. Um, what do you reckon? What do you reckon the score is going to be between England and the US? I'd be really interested to hear in the chat because you know, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm supporting England, and I reckon because I've had a beer. That is bloody coming out. Isn't that right, George? <laughs> Seven to eight. Wow. I, I take it to the to the US. So England seven, the United States of America eight. So what's that like a, a Harry Kane double hat trick, a little Raheem Sterling. He gets a goal right at the end. And then Christian Pulisic scores eight goals in 15 seconds and the Americans take it. <laughs> Listen, I know you guys don't, you know, you know, don't fuck with football as much as we do, but um, that's because you guys are amazing at all other sports. So it's not really fair, is it? Like, you have to let us beat you. Otherwise, like, I'm never touring in the States again. Okay, sorry, that, that's, that's a lie. <laughs> All right, and party people, I think it is that time, George. Yeah, do you think it is that time? It's coming home, and um, I think uh, the Dead Exclusive is coming home. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, all the people around the world, it is time for... The Dead Exclusive. <laughs> that's, that's right. Tell me if you like that. So yeah, this tune right here is... Probably my favourite tune that's been released in the last couple of weeks. I love Bob. Bob's like, I don't even like football. I don't care who wins. He's just here for the jungle music, man. We should all be a little bit more like Bob. Shouldn't we, really? Let's be honest. So yeah, this track, Unglued, Whiny, Lens, If You Like That, featuring the incredible vocals of Doctor. And then up next, we've got a little interview with Anais. So guys, stick around, 469, and listen close to this. Let's go. So keep me breathing That's what keeps me breathing I don't know the meaning I just know the feeling That's what keeps me breathing I just know the 
so good to see so many great comments uh, for this tune because it's kind of got like the lens jungle flavor the whiny like amazing grime bass the unglue crunchy drums and of course the amazing vocal from uh, from doctor and yeah i can't remember who it was i think it was i'm just going back through the comments now i think it was maybe brooks maybe it would be a good idea if they just played drum and bass all the time at the World Cup, I can I don't know, who can I speak to? Who can we, do you have a contact at the World Cup, George? You do. George is just getting his phone out. It's a flip phone, phone a flip phone, a flip, flip phone. <laughs> so it takes a while to turn on. Right? That's what keeps me breathing. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm going to let this tune roll out. Then we've got a little interview and we're going to have a little roll through Anais' new EP, Ultrasounds. But yeah, let's go. That's what keeps me breathing. Yes. Big up party people. That's what keeps me breathing. So yeah. Episode 469 of the Hospital Podcast. Um, and I'm just looking at some of the comments. Whiny and Degs collab. There is a Whiny and Degs collab coming at some point. I don't exactly know when it is. As in like we've written the music. It's just about the scheduling. Degs faction, Hugh Hardy. I mean, do you know what? I'd be pretty open to that. But instead of talking about this big Kenyan giraffe, let's talk about Anais. Anais is an incredible up and coming artist uh, based mostly out of Br- Bristol, has worked a lot with Invicta Audio, and she's put out just uh, just very, very recently on the 4th of December, a very, very sick four-track EP, Ultrasounds. And uh, yeah, it's got four amazing tunes on it. Do you know what? She's actually just walked through right now. <laughs> she's like, hi, guys. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to roll this little interview, and then we're going to go through all the tracks, and we're going to talk about them a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy this, and yeah, much love to all of you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this interview. Let's go. Yes, people, welcome to Hospital Podcast 469, and I've got an amazing Hello. guest in the studio, Anais. Hello. How you doing? I'm good, Mum. Fantastic, infectious smile and energy as always. <laughs> and you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love that, and you. Yeah, well, no, you do. I'm supposed to compliment you, not the oh, other way around. Right? But no, I like it. No, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. So, um, I've got you on a guest of the podcast today to talk a little bit about uh, your Ultrasounds EP, which came out on the 4th of November on Hospital Records. But before we kind of delve into that, I just wanted to know a little bit about your your background and your amazing name, Anais. Can you tell the people, what's that all about? Where is it from? Where is it from? So I'm half French. My dad was French. um, And yeah, my grandparents live in France as well. So I go to see them a lot. Um, I grew up up north in Lancaster. And then I moved down to Cheltenham with my mum. Uh, and then I came to Bristol, uh, and then ever since stuck in Bristol. So, so when you went to Bristol, was that for university, or did you say because you're moving with family as well? No, I I went to uni. Okay. So 
I did one year in UE doing drama. Nice. <laughs> nice. I know. So this is pretty natural for you, right? Like, yeah, yeah I can a see, little bit. I can see, yeah, yeah. Um, but I just, I dropped out. I didn't, I didn't like the competitiveness of it. Mm-hmm. So um, I really started to enjoy the music and stuff. And Anton as well was doing yeah. drum and bass. So I was like, oh, maybe I could be a DJ. Nice, nice. And yeah. And there you go. So actually, do you know what? Talking a little bit more about Bristol, you know, from my perspective, it's kind of like a super diverse city, like kind of culturally, yeah. musically. Yeah. Feels like a place that you can just kind of express yourself. Do you kind of feel that as well? And what yeah, kind of 100%. things are about Bristol do you do you love the most? You can be who you want to be in Bristol. Mm-hmm. I like Bristol because there's everyone from all walks of life. Um, the music is sick, like so much. Yeah, it's just colourful. Yeah, yeah. And there's loads of graffiti, which I like. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> big you, up Banksy. Yes, big up Banksy, of course. And, you know, talking again a little bit more about Bristol is your... <laughs> He's laughing. Luckily, we can edit these bits okay, out. Okay, so cool. Fine. Can we edit these bits out? Okay. Hi, Mum. Hi, mum. Hi, mum. Hey, hey, Love uh, you. Which mum? You, I'll talk to your mum. Your mum. You <laughs> 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 Bloody hell, I know No, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> mum, if you're watching that, she's a really nice person, all right? Okay, right. Take two. Attacking the side. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what's happened? Oh, are you attacking the side? <laughs> Are you banging the sign? I don't know why. <laughs> don't know Sorry. Do. Okay, okay. Right. So we're going to go, we're going to talk, so we'll just leave it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know where we're at at the moment, but it doesn't matter because George is going to edit it, so it's fantastic. <laughs> right, you ready? You ready? So, Invicta Audio, yeah. as a label that you've been heavily involved with from the start, um, it comes across as like a really fun, emerging label, straight out of Bristol, right? Yeah, just Bristol, as you like yeah. it. Um, so... Tell me, how did you come to get involved with Invicta? Um, Anton has been my best mate since when we were 15. Wicked. I like, went to high school with him and then I followed him to Bristol. So Just like that? Like, just like that, with, yeah. Like, do you follow the, the bus there or something? Or, no. Like, how did it work? Just, <laughs> you didn't literally follow him? No, like, I literally followed him like wow, a year wow. later because I was just like, I just Bristol, I don't care what I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, it seems that, especially like the nights that Invicta put on, I've seen quite a lot of YouTube footage. It does look pretty wild. It is pretty I mean, wild. Go on, explain to me a little bit. The what crowds does... are like... They are pretty mental, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm a little bit too old for the whole like front row, left speaker, kind of meet me there, yeah. gurning my tits off kind of thing. But yeah. um, is that a vibe that you kind of enjoy? <laughs> well, not me personally. <laughs> But I do like playing to the more hyper crowds. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Lie. I think your mixing style really suits it, right? And, it, and yeah. it's definitely like when you have that synergy, instead of playing to, you know, like old 33-year-olds like me who sit and have a cup of tea. I can't believe you're 33. You can't believe 33. No, I can't believe you're 33. George, can we have a back on this interview? He does I love all these. These compliments he? are amazing. Oh, mate, this is the best podcast ever. Thank you so much. I had you on the Dex cast, <laughs> Christmas 2021. Yes, thank um, you so much no, for that. It was, do you know what, Anna? It's genuinely, it was my absolute pleasure. Your set was one of the, the real highlights for me because of the, the amount of comments I got from people about your kind of, your high octane mixing. Really? You generally look like you're having a whale of a time. I was Every having a whale mix, of a time. I was like, oh my God, I'm on hospital. Oh my days, that's so amazing <laughs> to hear. So what kind of, you know, so what What kind of mixing style do you think defines you as a DJ? We kind of touched upon like the high energy. I mean, what kind of flavors do you like to add to the mix that makes it Anais? I like Raga in space. I like nice. jungle. I like jump up. I love it all in one. I like 140. I like donk. You like donk? Yeah. Do you think that's the northern girl no, you're bit, talking? No, a bit of four by four. Donk, Definitely. Donk, donk, donk. <laughs> Yeah. It's like the classic stereotype, isn't it? It's yeah. Like, the... <laughs> like people go absolutely nuts for a bit of four by four in your set. Really? Yeah. So have you been so like, for example, at like Invicta Audio Nights in Bristol yeah. when it's dirty and sweaty donk. and grimy, and you bring the donk out at three a.m. I mean, what's the reaction? Literally, like head over heels, going in yeah. at the front row, <laughs> <laughs> front left. <laughs> oh, amazing. Front left me. <laughs> so. Moving on to like kind of like styles of music that you really like. And obviously you touched upon the fact that you like 140 and 
you like all sorts of different like four by four don can obviously jungle ragarim fused music um any producers or tunes like whether and that can be established producers or it can be like your mates like is there anyone you want to shout out on hospital podcast yeah money yeah, yes. absolutely um, i man. absolutely love him i think he's electric so what is it? So do you, do you think it's, um, it's because he seems like a very, and do you know what? I'm going to feel like a real 33 year old saying this. He feels like he's a bit like experimental. With yeah, the way he's that he experimental, does it. but yeah, yeah, yeah. like that to me is amazing. Like if I can't predict what's going to happen next in the tune and like that is just for me. Do you think that's quite refreshing considering that, you know, a lot of dance music is not predictable, but you know, it being, you know, four to the four in terms of, the pattern and you kind of know that it's intro drop breakdown drop yeah. do you think his kind of his different styles is that quite refreshing for you is it quite it's different it's so for you? refreshing yeah. it's a like really mm. influences me okay. no, it inspires it me inspires you wow. inspires me wow that's fantastic to make music that is not predictable mm -hmm. And I think, you know, it's funny that you talk about making music that's not predictable because when I listen to your Ultrasounds EP, there's, there's not necessarily a concurrent theme that runs through it. It kind of shows like different sides to your personality that I really like. Yeah. You know, for example, the dance hall flip of Take It Easy. I mean, how did that come up? No idea. Did you just start making uh, that? Like, yeah. Because that's amazing, man. I was like, just, I was a bit sick of trying to make drum and bass. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, fuck it. I really like so why don't I try and make some dance hall? Made the dance hall, sent it to Red Fox. Red Fox was like, oh my God, yeah, this Wicked is sick. Wicked vocalist, by the way. Let yeah. me get on it. He's mm. sick. Real okay. sick, real sick. And then I was like, oh wait, it's 95 BPM. If I slowed those vocals down, I could bass tune out. So it was the other way round. It was the other way round. Oh, I didn't know that, see? That's why we got you on an interview because we're yeah. learning more and more every day, yeah. right? And also... Enja, that's a chaotic tune. Yeah, it's so chaotic. I mean, that's what I love about your style. It's so quirky and it's so fun. But those four tunes that we have on Ultrasounds, are, are, you know, they are very different, including the fact that you have a dancehall flip of a, a D&B tune all the other way around. <laughs> and how does it feel to have a solo EP, which is now, which came out, I believe, on the 4th of November, right? So yeah. It's been out for a little while now. It's so mad. Like, uh, I, on hospital records. I would never think, like, from my first EP that I did last year... Mm -hmm. Give it a year and I'd be able to put P on a hospital. Amazing. That's, that's mad to me. <laughs> Honestly, you, you, you should be really proud of your work. It's, it's yeah, an amazing thanks. EP. It goes off in the club. Um, we're really looking forward to going through this EP with you very, very shortly. But yeah. we thought we'd end on some quick fire questions. Oh. Are you ready for this? Okay, yeah. right. We haven't got a drum roll, so we're just going to get cracking. So that was good. Right, favorite color? Orange. Cats or dogs? Cat. Jungle or jump up? Ooh. Jungle Ooh. up. <laughs> jungle. You know what? That's very diplomatic. Jungle like up. That. Jungle up. <laughs> jungle up. Okay. <laughs> this one might be a bit controversial, depending on who's listening and what you answer. <laughs> Bristol or London? Ooh. Ooh. London. London. Anton from Invicta, I hope you're not watching, bro. Um, sorry, my bad, but... Nice one. No, I just feel like the venues are, like, all, all my best, like, I played Tobacco Dock. Yeah. And, like, that was... Wicked, wicked. Um, yeah, most... I mean, Bristol and London are both pretty good. They're amazing, right? They're amazing. Okay, we'll talk a little bit, actually, about clubs in a minute, but what's your favourite tipple? Uh, cocktails. Yeah? Favourite cocktail, then? Um, all of them. All of them. <laughs> I'll you're have any setting, cocktail. You're just setting the, the, the net out very, very <laughs> wide. I like it. I like it. Uh, favorite snack? Chip. Chips? Nice. Okay. <laughs> I love chips. <laughs> Who doesn't love chips? Yeah. You can't be like English or French yeah. unless you love... Uh, frites. Frites. Wow. I wasn't expecting to learn French. Or there we go. I take it frites means chips. Chips, yeah. See? Got one of them. Favorite club in the UK? Oh. You mentioned motion, right? But would you say that's your favourite? Nah. No? Um, warehouse Project. Warehouse Project Manchester. Or Tobacco Docks, but Tobacco Docks is gone now, unfortunately. It is. Okay, so in a perfect world, let's say that Tobacco Docks and Warehouse Project have got licences to run forever and ever and ever. Which one would you choose? Ooh. And which room 
in either one would you like to play in the most? Mm. I know, I know. I'm Probably sorry. Probably Concord and Warehouse Project. Just nice. Like when I played that, it was went off. Yeah. Cup. Amazing, man. I love. And <laughs> so you know, again, talking a little bit more about live stuff. What has been the best set you think you've ever played in your career, and where was it? Best set I've ever. Mm-hmm. It was uh, Warehouse Back or um, the hospital. The ADE dance event. Mate, that was absolutely unreal. You absolutely killed that. And you had a really late set, right? I had was five, five? five till six. And you had so many people I tell you what, floor. like, I have never, like, ever since DJing moved my hands while I'm DJing. And the whole crowd, like, follows your hands. Amazing. Did you, like, did, did, uh, what was your kind of experience of ADE? Like, how did you find it? Or did you just only really do the I set? I literally only did the set. And then we, we, we went out for dinner. We did. We watched your mate fight. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately he lost. What's his name? Harry Davies. Yeah, salute to Harry Davies. He's actually got another fight coming up. But no, it's what's not... his fight name? Uh, Harry, the one and only Davies. That is oh. literally his name. <laughs> I know, I should Pick up the one and only. Pick up the one and only. And okay, so last couple of questions. Would you rather engage in hand-to-hand combat with one horse-sized hamster or a hundred hamster-sized horses? Hundred hamster sized horses. Why? They're all small, aren't they? All small. You can just step on them. Do you reckon? Do you reckon one horse sized hamster? Do you not think that one horse sized hamster might be like a gentle being? Maybe? What am I fighting them? Yeah, hand to hand combat, like whoosh. Yeah. Jet Lee Star. Well, I can't take on a horse. Do you not know? No. This is not something that people do. <laughs> do <you not? laughs> okay, fair enough. Right. So, <laughs> so with England's World Cup campaign starting on Monday. Do you reckon it's coming home? Mm. Be honest. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah? yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Either England or France, I'll be happy with either. You'd be happy. So, yeah. you know, when you have a tournament like that, do you, do you support either kind of equally? or? Ooh, oh, when I England and France play together, I'm yeah. like... <sighs> Flip-flopping all over the place. But I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay, good, good. As long as it's England or, or France. Okay, so um, Brazil, Argentina, ah. nah. So salute to all of our Brazilian and Argentinian <laughs> listeners. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, last question is, what's your, or who is your favourite person whose name rhymes with eggs? Really hard one. <laughs> no, you just want me to say eggs. It is Dags, it's Dags. And that (laughs) concludes the interview. (laughs) Uh, We always end on the most important questions. So, Anais, thank you so much for coming in and having a quick chat with me. Now we're... Oh, man, it's my pleasure. And we're now (laughs) going to go through the Ultrasounds EP. Yeah. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys in a bit. And look who I have live in the studio. Anais, thank you so much. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good, thanks, Dags. How are you? Oh, do you know what? Not many people ask how I am. <laughs> All right, that sounds really sad. And depressing, yeah, it is. It? I care about how you <laughs> thank are. You, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, firstly, for an amazing interview. As you can tell by the comments, people really enjoyed it, which is really great. Yeah. Um, so we're going to run through the Ultrasounds EP now. This first track is Take It Easy with Red Fox. Red Fox? Red Fox and Formula. Yeah. So tell me, this is track number one. Why did you choose this as the first track? I just felt like it had the most, like, it was more, it was the most memorable. I don't know if that's memorable. That is definitely the word, okay? <laughs> and um, so tell me, how did you get in contact with these two vocalists? I just contacted them on Instagram. It's like I'm doing the interview again, but just just listen to the interview. Anyway, we're going to take this one away. <laughs> this is Anais. The, this is the first track from the Ultrasounds EP, Take It Easy, Red Fox and Formula. Let's go. Easy. I can just have a little dance. Easy. Take it easy. So far gone. Easy. 
man. I absolutely love that, you know. Like genuinely. It's got so much fun to it, and like, and I think a real wicked like kind of thing about your personality and about your music is that it's really fun. Yeah. Is that just something that you do intentionally, or like? I don't know. Or it just comes out. You're lucky. I've got to pretend to be funny. I just don't. I don't take anything seriously. It's quite bad. Do you think that's a bad thing? Well, when it comes to uni work, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please tell me that you, you're you doing well at uni. Do you need any help? I mean, I'm not very clever, but... Can you write 8,000 words for me for two weeks' time? It depends if I've done a couple of pingers or not. No, I'm joking. No, no, we can't say that. No, no. drugs. Oi, oi! <laughs> Mate, this is a big one, you know. It's it's a good double of this one. So yeah, is this is this like a bit of a DJ tool for you? Is this something that you use quite a lot in your sets at the moment? What this, this song? track? Yeah, yeah, blackout yeah. with Teezy. I gotta play my own tunes, aren't I? That's why I love you, man. Like, you know what? It's all about having a fun and a good time. And also, can you tell me a little bit about TZ as well? TZ, yeah. He's my mate from Bristol. Okay. He makes some sick tunes as well. It feels like I'm really missing out. Like, Bristol just seems to be where yeah, it's happening. Yeah, mate, everyone in Bristol is a producer, pretty much. Really? Or a DJ. Or a DJ. Yeah. Or a K Ed. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of them. <laughs> in all the alleyways and the corners. <laughs> Welcome to the most professional podcast on the planet, Hospital Podcast 469. <laughs> 469. Let's go, baby. See, I got to say, I mean, if I was going to pick my favourite tune on the EP, yeah. and it's actually quite difficult because I think you've got four really really eclectic and also really different tunes and like I mentioned in the interview they kind of like represent different parts of your personality like yeah. they're all like fun and quirky but I've got to say this one man you got to be proud of this one do you like this one? Man, I the think most... this is the best one yeah. what's your favourite on the EP? Um, be honest I like all of them like I'm proud of, of all of them to be honest man. The second that. drop on this is my favourite bit. I always play the second drop. Okay, so we're going to listen to the second drop, but just before we do that, <laughs> can you just uh, give a shout out to Friendly Japanese Businessman? Uh, shout out to Friendly Japanese Businessman. I'm sure you're very, very, very friendly. <laughs> So yeah, if you caught her in Berlin, I've heard some really, really good things about your set in Berlin. Apparently you went absolutely crazy. You went in. You were just like one of the stars of the show. And you're so humble that you're just looking at me as if to say, shut up. I wasn't that great. I was probably at least the second best. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to play Thank something you. else from your EP now. Um, this track I really, really love. And again, another extension of your personality. This one's Enja. I believe this is the, the completely solo project for you, right? Yeah, yeah. I do like this one. Yeah, yeah. I like the second drop as well. Okay, don't worry. We're going to roll out to the second drop. I like like grimy inspired stuff. There's a, like, it's a bit gnarly. See, I mean, one of the reasons why I really like this tune is like you kind of said, like it's that kind of syncopated, d d d d d d and it's so UK. Like yeah. you've got such a UK yeah. flavour, and that's yeah. something I love, man. It's got to be UK. You got to rep it. I mean, if we don't, but you're kind of repping France as well, right? Yeah. What, what, what do France have? Like they got they've, dirty they've got a bit of like a lot of French rappers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's it's more like trap kind of music, right? Yeah, I think so. There's not like as much electronic music, I don't think. Mm -hmm. They got David Guetta. 
pretty good. I mean, I don't know. What, I mean, he's he's a pretty small. Like, would he would he even get in room two at hospital? I don't I don't I don't think so. He'd be below. Would he be below me on the line? Definitely. Def- yeah, of course. You can come back every week. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the second drop on this uh, is amazing. So you're currently locked in to the hospital podcast episode four six nine with the amazing Anais, who has just released Ultrasounds Volume Four, and it's a solo EP on Hospital Records. And yeah, this track right here is called Enya. And yeah, I mean, if you don't listen to this, a fucking Enya. It's a good doubler as well. Doubler. I'm not going to attempt that <laughs> right <all> now. Are. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you planned this. <laughs> Go on, double it. I wish, I wish I had the tunes. <laughs> I haven't got the tunes on me. Ah, it's a bit late. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You know what, party people? Can we get some fire emojis in the chat for NI East? Yeah, drop us some fire emojis. Because, yeah, man, uh, I'm, do you know what? I'm playing in Bristol, funnily enough. We were talking no about way. Bristol, I can't believe it, right? On Saturday. And oh, uh, so you're playing as well. Oh, wow. So I tell you what. I can't see that. I'm going to play some of your tunes. Go on, then. And uh, is that all right with you? That's cool. Because, you know, that's sometimes like a thing that people don't like. No, I'm not that bothered. No, I'm not. Do you know, there was a comment in the chat that's saying, like, she seems really modest. <laughs> and I love that about you, man. Like, you've got really good energy and you seem really, really happy don't to be Don't gas me here. up, bro. Why? I'm getting too gassed. No, you're not getting gas. I don't think, I just don't Actually. think you've got the ego for it. I really no, don't. I don't want to Me, on the ego. other hand. <laughs> I, think yeah, I would say you've got an ego. Nah, you're really nice. Ask, ask my missus, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon she might say something different. <laughs> So yeah, fire, wow. fire, 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 yeah, fire. So fire in the chat. So, you know, we played at the, the very, very first uh, tune that we played from the EP, um, Take It Easy with Red Fox and Formula. Yeah. So, you know, we, we, we obviously touched upon it in the interview that we just we just aired on the screen. So this was the original version, right? Yeah. And uh, Dancehall, talk to me about Dancehall. Why is it that Dancehall, like, what is it about Dancehall? That- uh, it's the swing of it. It's like, it's the groove. It's like the musical instruments. I've always loved, like, a, like a saxophone and trumpets and all of that. So, like, it's perfect for me. I grew up listening to a lot of reggae as well. Wicked. So, mate, it sounds like you've had a, a real like cultural explosion in your life growing up. Like, lived <laughs> in different places, obviously half French, half English, <laughs> yeah. and now you're standing next to a big brown Kenyan man. I mean, how does that feel? Like, is that the pinnacle? It's cool. It's, it's cool. normal to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, Katarina El Dorado is is my girlfriend in the chat. Is it? Hello. She's literally said, "Yeah, huge ego." I hope He's your um, holiday was lovely. By the way, it, it looked really nice. nice. It was very nice. So I'm going to play this right now. Take it easy with Red Fox and Formula, and this is the dance hall version. Them love my style. Them love my style. Yeah, I'm well versatile. Drop it like a bomb, drop it like a bomb, I made the whole of them scrum. Man, I'm Mike Veteran, Master of Ceremony, pay attention. Cause here comes another one. Easy, take it easy, no man. Easy, take it easy, no man. Easy, take it easy, no man. Cool like the breeze, yeah, may have a lot of fun. Easy. Take it easy, no man. You know them Kenyan hips? I've got to use them for something, You've right? You've got the Kenyan hips. Take it easy, no man. I wish I had them. <laughs> I don't know, they get me in something. What do you mean you got the half French hips going on right now? <laughs> got half a hip. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm having a really good time, right? <laughs> I'm really, really happy to have you on the podcast. So what I want to do next is we've played through the EP. And just to remind people, that's out now on Hospital Records. 
Um, and it's an excellent release. You should be really genuinely, Thank all jokes you. aside, I know we're having a bit of fun, but you should be really flipping proud of it, Thank man. Uh, because I love it. I know all my crew love it. Um, Katerina Eldorado Harrison, my girlfriend, she loves it too. George loves it. Most importantly, George, George loves it. George. Pick up George, man. He's, he's man. One day we're going to get his face on the podcast. He yeah. keeps refusing it. He keeps saying that. You need to put your face on it. Exactly. So, Anais, do you mind just, we don't have to mix, we don't have to do anything. We can just, I just want to hear a couple of tunes that you're already feeling right now. Okay. And just like kind of talk about them. So, please, cue something up for me. Right. And um, yeah, and also as well, if anyone in the chat has any questions for this incredibly talented young woman, <laughs> please drop something in. And could you make sure it's PG, please? Because, you know, this is a family podcast, even though I swear all the fucking time, you know what I mean? Right, I got one. You got one, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to bring this down now. Okay. Nice, one. Right. This is such a vibe, this one. So quickly, because I can see there's a bit of an intro, talk to me about this tune. Who's it by? And uh, what does it kind of do for you? So it's um, Enemy Draw by Nico D, but DJ Gore has remixed it, and oh, it shit. is fat. Okay, big up DJ Gore, man, because I really like a lot He's of his sick. tunes. He's real He's sick, sick, real sick. Okay. I think I'm going to enjoy this, you know. Tonight is just the beginning of a long and you know what, whilst we're dancing to the intro, let's cue another one up on it. Damn, I think I need access to your USB, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So we got like is ten this seconds. Is it original or is it not? Is Who it knows? not? Do you know what? I'm just not going to say anything. Should we just like? Should we just leave right, it with let, suspense? Yeah. yeah? Let's okay. Just leave okay. It. Obviously, we can have a little dance, right? Let's do this, let's do this. Fantastic, mate. Sick. He's Bristol really family sick. in the house, yeah. So what track it? What's this called? It's called Rolling by Zimmer Refix. Wicked stuff. So you know what we'll do? Um, obviously after the show, I'll make sure that the full track list is in the comments. And yeah, let's check this one out. Let's go.
Obviously, we've got a question in the chat for you, right? So this comes from Brooks, and uh, he wants to know, how long have you been DJing professionally? professionally? And you don't even need to say, do you know what? I think, if you don't mind, Brooks, because, you know, we don't like to think of ourselves as professionals. We're like just a bunch of people having fun. So if you don't mind me just rephrasing the question slightly and just saying, and just asking you, how long have you been DJing for? I think that's a better question, I right? I think it's been about four years now. Four years. I think for, for about a year and a half, I was really bad. Do you and think so? I got, I got a bit better. So, so like, just, just out of I interest. I got a bit better. <laughs> got a bit better. Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't talking down the mic. What kind of things, I mean... Luckily, there's a breakdown, right? See, it's, it's almost yeah. like we timed this perfectly. So what is it that kind of you were struggling with or, or how do you feel that you improved in that time? Because there's actually, you know, there's not many people that I've ever spoken to, professional musicians, that will kind of have the, the lack of ego to admit that they need to improve. Like, what is it about that? that what, do you, what do you feel that you were, you were kind of struggling with? Like, uh, I'm always looking to improve. Like, yeah? I'm always learning stuff. I'm always on YouTube. I'm always on Patreon. On, like Wicked. you can never know too much I think that's a really good attitude to have man I won't ever stop learning do you know what Anais man you know what we came for a bit of vibes and you've given us the wisdom as well the wisdom <laughs> always listen to everyone <laughs> Gog. <laughs> Except from the dickheads. Don't listen to the dickheads. Yeah, don't listen to the dickheads. We'll make a list of dickheads and we'll, we'll, we'll like telegram it to people or something. <laughs> and you know, we just got a little, <laughs> um, we got a little comment from Marcel B. Love how the interview has turned into a spontaneous guest mix. And you know what, Marcel? It certainly has. It has. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. <laughs> Can we get an Anais track with Deg's vocals? Ooh, we'll yeah. Talk, yeah, we'll talk about that after this mix. We'll talk about that. I, I want you to rap on it because I think you sound hard rapping, you bro. Reckon, yeah, yeah okay. majorly. And singing as well. <laughs> this is sick. So yeah, talk to me about this tune. Mill Brook Choices, Feet Nova Sky. Yeah, so Nova Sky's the vocalist, right? Yeah. She sounds amazing. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're in the mix now, man. Yeah, I know. Go on, you, you load up a tune after this. Time, right? I reckon it is. Should we do one for one? Okay, let's do it for a few tunes. Why not? Do you know what the craziest thing is? We've actually only got two decks to work with. Yeah. <laughs> Dispatch sub low shatter in your six pack like a 12 gauge rage for the kickback straight hell when coming ready for impact slot on the target we can't miss that snap a setting set a light to the slip mat it's true Degs is Skrillex Dispatch 
we can't miss that. Kick back, something heavy coming in. Yo, what is that? Dispatch, we can't miss that. Kick back. Big up my brother and Simula, man. He always makes amazing he tunes. He always makes He's some sick, isn't he? tunes. He's too yeah. sick, man. He's too sick. Right, come on, then. let's roll out our names. Welcome to the Hospital Podcast. We're just being spontaneous right now. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to my podcast. <laughs> How did I get exposure as a D- new DJ and get in with hospital? Okay, let's let, we'll, we'll answer that question that, a little bit. Right? That is a very good question. I'm going to answer it after I play my new tune. Oh, okay. I'm not going to mix out of this. I'm going to have to let this. We're going to have to let this do the talking. Yeah, we've got to let this roll out. So what we'll do is we're going to listen to the tune, and in the breakdown, or towards the end of the drop, do you mind answering that question? Because do you know what, Jonathan? That is actually a really good question, and I would really like to answer that. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so we'll have a little skank for about a minute, and then uh, yeah, then we'll get cracking with that. That sounds amazing. Like when I get sleep with a flow back, like when I come slip with a throwback, like when a man talking a rubbish, like when I get hit with an old blow that when a man smoking a go back, that's so stuck, that's so stuck, like spin on the network, lads. You know that, don't know when I'm on a mic I go and don't know that I got the mic control and don't know when I'm gonna switch my flow and don't know when I'm on a mic I trade that picked up running up to another play back face right, I can never walk with a link chat, yeah, listen. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance like Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance. There's a bullet, 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 bullet in the yo. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance like Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance. Gunshot, gunshot, there's a bullet in the dance. There's a bullet, 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 bullet in the yo. Step up on the stage and then we kill it We're jumping on the drums and then you know I'm gonna feel it Like can you feel it? Drugs up in the rhythm And the East has got the bass jumping like it's ribbit Like man it's illish We are not the timid We're Aki and our trackies and you know it's the like So Like what's the minute? You know it's so Let's answer Mr Jonathan's question Very very quickly you got 16 bars <laughs> How did I get in with hospital? I went to the women mentorship scheme Sick. Last last year, last November Spoke to Ty- Tilo Showed him my uh, my debut EP and he was like, "Oh shit, that's all right." And then, like, I applied to be the women mentally, mental, like, be the on mentee. the mentee. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> I was just hoping that worked when I clang. That is a tune, that. It's a tune, man. Unglued and Galaxy Algorithm. I'm going to play you another tune. Is this new? From you? It's got Flow Dan on it. Have you heard this? Are you fucking joking? Uh, sorry, yeah, I just, I just... Have Wait. you heard it? Uh, no, I've not fucking heard it. You've not showed it to me. No. You've got flow down and a rhythm. Yeah. Why is she looking so, so innocent? Just like, yeah, yeah, of course I did. No, I just I met him at Greg's the other day. He's actually a really nice <laughs> I guy. I thought you were going to say he really likes Greg's. No, <laughs> I don't know if he likes Greg's or not. <laughs> so go on, before we play this tune, before we play, right? So talk to me, how did this tune come along? So I can see already that it's Sudley as well, who's an amazing producer. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, yeah, so talk to me. How did this tune? Me come and my about? mate suddenly linked up. We made like a 140 track that goes into drum and bass. Ooh. And then Anton heard it and he was like, I will get Flo down on it for you. No way. Yeah. And, and he did it and he finessed he, it. He did it, he finessed it. I met him and he was like, I've never done a track where it's switched BPM like that. Uh, that that's probably and one of the out, best sales it's pitches. Out, <laughs> it's out next year. Next year on Invicta? On Invicta in in like the early part of the year, I think. Good stuff. Okay, well, what's it called? Wicked with it? Wicked with it. Suddenly, Anais, Wicked with it, featuring Flow Down. Flow Down? Flow Down. Flow Down. Sorry, I'm just getting really excited. The fact that you said switch <laughs> BPM and switch yeah, tempo. Yeah, switch BPM. It goes, it goes from 175 to 140, then to 175, so you can mix it in a set. Bruh. Yeah. Head blown. <laughs> right, let's go, let's go. And yeah, thank you so much for that question, Jonathan. Um, yeah, that was a really good question, actually. Yeah. I really enjoyed your answer as well. Um, and, you know, it's really good to see that the, the Women in Drum and Bass scheme has, has worked really well. It, it's, it's gone so well. And yes, I am very glad I applied. Oh, bless you, Jonathan. man. <laughs> Love to hear that. Yeah. Legit when I spit outside on the front line, so it's lit. Big swift, never stay far from my lip. when I'm drinking, the mad demo has got a kick. It's mad like that. Wild like this, spend shell full of stack. Yeah, full of shit. They never had a song that bangs or a tune stick. My team's automatic when I roll up fast, roll up quick. Good Kelly weed and the whole place stick. A lot of them said they got smoke for them, and I checked the replay. It was a joke, not at least. I roll up fast, roll up quick. Good Kelly <laughs> Is that the is first that, ever rewind? Is that, George, is that right? Is that should the first ever? Should we rewind it and then play the drum and bass bit? Or should we just I know, play I, I want to play that again. You want to play the whole thing? Can, can I again, one more time in the chat, because you've got so many amazing people, do me a <laughs> massive favour, get some love hearts and get some fire emojis for the incredible <laughs> Anais. I'm just going to clap you myself because you're fucking awesome, man. You really Thanks. are. Suddenly, Anais, wicked with it, featuring Flo Dan. Yeah. What the hell, man? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's such a bad man. He's such a bad man. Oh, oh, oh. Mate, you're a bad gal. You're joking. Like, some of the rhythms you've been playing tonight, man. What the hell? <laughs> I knew you had it in your locker, but... I, I, can I'll I? I'll send it to you if you want. Can I have some new tunes? Is that all right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Legit when I spit outside on the front line, so it's lit. Big stiff, never stay far from my lip. And when I'm drinking, the back then my race got a kick. It's mad like that. Wild like this, spend shell full of stack. Yeah, full of shit. They never had a song that bangs or a tune stick. My thing's automatic when I roll up fast, roll up quick. Good Kelly weed and the whole place stick. A lot of them said they got smoke for them and I checked the replay. It was a joke, not at least. I roll up fast, roll up quick. Good Kelly weed so you know my spliff. Not for them, I'm gonna try this. Oh, the fire emojis go mental. Yeah, yeah. When we roll out on Normally that just means you've done a really good job, man. <laughs> Where the cold is even though it's hot now. Yes, been show from sun up to sundown. Head shock when I waste one round. Come and assist him, kill it from my hometown. I stay gassed up in a person in breakdown. Kill him with it. Kill him with it. You know sound different with it. Kill him with it. Kill him with it. Wicked with it. Kill him with it. Kill him with it. Okay, I'm interested, man. I can see you watching the waveform like when's it gonna speed I'm up? Looking forward to this. <laughs> So yeah, party people, welcome to the 469th episode of the Hospital Podcast with my incredible guest, Anais. Thank you so much for joining us. So. We're going to play a few more tunes. Uh, I was, you know, I was going to say we're coming towards the end, but actually, <laughs> we got to hear this, man. We got to hear this. Yeah, what? Mike with the number one spot. Rise up, so I'm like, I'm pops. Stand up in a bomb, it bomb, but won't stop. Better than ready for the kick or drop, but you know my side can't buy it in a shot. Can't get it on the net. I've got it on lock. I'm going to take both from another them, lock them down. Yeah, body back stretcher. Better than doing it better. Another one down, service and ground. Big money sound, bang the barrel. Another head bang, I found the dan dada. Weed for the brain, run for the bladder. Go to take checks, we make them scatter. Yeah, we all the place like that. Roll up, freak. Roll up, car. One outside with a gang. Ready for the black brain. And the powers of pain. Roll up, freak. Roll up, car. Yeah, automatic. Yes, man. Honestly, man, that is a rhythm. I might, I might as well play another one with Sudley. Yeah? Yeah, All right, yeah. let's go, man. The floor is e yours. Every time we link up, we make a madness. Well, I'm looking forward to jumping in the studio with you. You know that. It's yeah. going to be good fun. Right, little switch on this one. Let's go. <laughs> This is actually 
actually coming out on hospital. So this track is called what exactly? Um, Live by the sword. Live by the sword. And Anais, we've got a fan from Brazil. Uh, Pocos, Hello. Casa Rosada. Obrigado. Thank you so much for your support. That's the only word I know in Portuguese. So. <laughs> I don't know you any don't even Portuguese. Know. <laughs> All right, I new know. Anais. Pastel de nata. I reckon that's a doubler, Dags. Yeah. Oh, why have you trusted me with that of all people? I mean, every every double you've popped out then was good. A lot of the man them suffer the money up in the duffel bag. There's no looking back. I have to warm my own pearls. My destination gets closer. So I know that I have to hold it on. As it is called high. Hold on. That's why I'm making Andy. Doing the whole hoodie. Home got a suit and a baggy. Street like he's flexing over puddles in the alley. Pick up from the valley. I'm going to get the bag. There's no time to make it dally. Me and all my brothers got a hold down from the valley. Mate, your tunes are literally like the perfect DJ tools. I don't, has anyone ever told you that before? No, I haven't made that many tunes, Dags. Okay, so talking about tunes, we've got an amazing question before you, you load this one up. Ableton. Um, Ableton. Ableton. Ableton all the way. Ableton till I die. So just in case anyone's wondering why we're saying Ableton. <laughs> it's because the amazing Sorry. Brooks has asked the question, what software does Anais yeah. use to produce? So has Ableton been how you've... Like, has that been the program of choice from yeah. the very, very start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you get? Okay, I'll tell you what. Guess what program I use? You look like a, a Logic man or an FL man. Does that mean I look a bit simple? <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? And what I do use, you use? I'm one of those really weird people. Are you a Cubase? No. I use Reason. What? I know. Do you know what? And there's only other two massive weirdos like me. Um, <laughs> Polar and Bryson, I've got to call them out. So uh, yeah, I use Reason. The reason why I use Reason. The reason. The reason why is because I started using it a long, long time ago, and you know, you just like you just have your favourite programs, right? And I guarantee, if I started on Ableton, I would have stuck on Ableton. But yeah, simple people reason. like me use Reason. Is Talented it people. I just like the workflow. It's like yeah, looking at a, it's like looking at an analog rack. So you can kind of like, without getting too nerdy, <laughs> you can kind of plug. So elements in like VSTs in as if they were like on a proper like you know outboard rack like oh, back in the day. So yeah. for old motherfuckers like me, it suits me and you know obviously my back hurts. Do you like root it as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's so hard. It's honestly easier than what you guys do. This is a tune by my mate Formula. Okay. Such a banger. Yes, Master, if you've got a question, fire away, my friend. Good night and good luck. Tune, isn't yeah, it? that's a stinker right there, man. That's a stinker. So when we dive, wow, 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 wow. And yeah, I don't know if you'll know the answer to this question, but we've got the amazing master all the way from Russia asking. I don't know if you've heard the tunes, but uh, with Tony and Esma, but London Electricity and Esma uh, uh, and Elsa Esmeralda. In general, two words. How do you like the duet of those two? Just say like two. What? Who? London Electricity and. And Elsa Esmeralda. It's a bit of a tongue twister, right? I don't know who that is. Do you don't know who that is? Okay, so I'm just going to start and then you just say something similar to this. Right? I'm going to go with fucking amazing. Yeah. And you're going to say... Yeah. You're going to say fucking sick. Yeah, or? she's sick. She's sick. Yeah. <laughs> 
So there's a big difference in age. So, so tell the people, how old are you, Anais? I'm 23. You're 23? I know I don't look it. I look a, y a lot younger than you that. You do actually look a lot younger. I was yeah. going to say like 18, 19. Yeah, But nah. that's a good thing because, you know, your youth will never crack, which is a great thing. Like yeah. for me, I'm 30. And you complimented me on the interview. You do not look 33. You can't believe I'm 33. No, I can't believe it. Well, if you saw the way I struggled to get up the stairs, <laughs> you would think I was 63. <laughs> And um, yeah, so another question from Damon May. Um, is is there any stateside DB that you're feeling or are you mostly like kind of like UK? Because obviously the Raga kind of vibe is mostly like the UK and obviously the Caribbean. Yeah. But are there any American producers out there or is it something that you, you want to learn about a little bit more? Um, but I don't really know like that much about American drum okay. and bass. I know, I like Skrillex, but I know he's not drum and bass. I mean, we're, we're, we'll accept that, we'll accept that. <laughs> so we're going to go with Skrillex. <laughs> And Brooke says, old man Degs, we call him. Old man. <laughs> you, look, you don't look like an old man. Thank you so much. I don't know if I'm being complimented or insulted. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, we're going to... Should we play a few more tunes? Yeah. Okay, let's do it, man. Let's do it, let's do it. That's a big one, man. Big up L side. Uh, and the original of this, of course, is Bristol's finest, or one of Bristol's finest, because you've got so many finest, Selector J-Man. And this oh, is I the love Selector J-Man. He's, He's a so good guy, good. isn't he? And do you know what? All of that Born On Road crew, do you, got, do you know those guys well yeah, at all? Yeah, yeah, I love all of them. Wicked, wicked. <laughs> Uh oh, watch the mix. Cheese. And I asked in the mix, man. I don't know where I am, because I got my drugs from Amsterdam. Hey. Do you know what? You're always coming in with them secret bangers, man. Cause I got my drugs from Amsterdam. Big up Squizzly, Hep Drift. Yeah, big tune, big up TC, man. Yeah, TC, sick. So yeah, I just want to ask a question to the party people in the chat. Yeah. If any of you guys out there, this is the first time that we've actually gone back to back together. It's a bit random as well. I love yeah. that, right? Do you want to see us do something like this? Would you like to see Anais back in the podcast again? If you do, I just want to see some thumbs up because I'll be honest I'd, with you. I'd like that. This, is, this has been very It's important. been a bit of a vibe, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe Christmas time. What, a Christmas podcast? Oh. 
And maybe I can ask you, because by that time, it's going to be like, what, five, six weeks? And I think the way your career is going, the way you're elevating, I actually think that you're going to have a lot more to talk about in six weeks. That's how crazy I think you're doing, really? man. Yeah, man. I don't have any tunes coming out of that time. Listen, look at all the, look, look at all the thumbs up. She's me. rad. <laughs> I agree with this. Thanks, Ryan Yont. <laughs> Ah, uh, big up my brother Son, man. Or Son, sorry. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic producer. Again, someone I actually want to get on the podcast as well. So, uh, yes, my bro, we're going to have a chat. Let's go. Me tell them gal ya come round ya Gal a rub down me chest love me pass to una The gal just a give me a bona Click click She a take pictures This is Formula again with an SMG remix Big up SMG He's Man. another Bristol boy as well I mean, I'll be honest with you. I swear you've played 90% Bristolian music tonight. Yeah, I, I actually do. And you genuinely do. And do you know yeah. what? I love the, the fact that you rep your city, yeah. you rep your friends, and you rep the people that, you know, contribute to your life, man. And I fucking love that, man. I love that about you. And I hope you keep doing it. Because it is a good thing. It's a real good thing. George says thank you. Big up George, man. Do you know what? George is always in the background just making shit happen. Yeah. And we son, love George. We do love George, man. We love King George. Should we call him King George? King George is 60, no, the 469th. King George? Why? Jeez. Wow. That's a bit of donk, you know. Another Bristol boy oh, yeah. called Benny. Should, should we just rename this the hospital slash Bristol The podcast? Bristol Street. The Bristol Street. <laughs> <laughs> Bristol sound, man. And do you know what? Master, all the way from Russia, is already appreciating the Bristol sound. That's what you know. It's worldwide, man. It's big up, worldwide. Master. Yeah, big up, Master. i 
Zimmer again. Hey, this guy's got serious talent, you know. He's, he's got smoke, hasn't he? Yeah, man. Wow, this makes me want to like punch the drywall or something. <laughs> Should we have a USC match right now? I think you'd win, mate, to be fair. Dex don't want the smoke. I don't want none of that, smart. Peace, love, and unity. <laughs> and also, um, beer. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Talking of beer. Yeah, we've run out of beer, no, haven't we? No, we do this. Do you know what? <laughs> Where's the water? Where's the water at? So basically, what I'm going to do now <laughs> is I'm going to play... Um, I'm going to play one more from my side. And then what I want you Go to do it. is I want you to play one more... And then the very last tune, I want you to, to kind of like select something that maybe it's a bit left field, maybe it's something that you wouldn't usually play. What have you got on your stick? Just have a little think I'll during that time. Thing, have a little yeah. think, yeah? Shall I play some Bristol techno? Yes, please. Select it and I'm gonna bring it down when you're ready. Oh, no, I'm ready. You ready, yeah? yeah? Okay, I'm gonna bring it down, man. I'm gonna bring it down because I really wanna be surprised. That's what this podcast is all about. Okay, so before you press play, um, as we've reached the last tune, yeah. what I usually do is because I'm I think I'm hilarious basically, yeah. I say this is the last tune, but it's actually not the last tune. We play two more tunes and then yeah. we go home and or we go we to the pub. Yeah. It's completely up to you. I mean, we could just go to the pub. Although I think Katarina wants me to come home. <laughs> um, so yeah, just to recap, today you've been locked into the 469th episode of the Hospital Podcast with the incredible Anais. I just want to get some claps or anything. Just show some love for Anais in the chat, please, because... Firstly, you've been an amazing guest. Thank loads you. of energy, loads of fun. I really enjoyed interviewing you as well, which is great. Um, so this last track that you're going to play, do you want to talk to give me a little bit of a background story behind it before you play it, or do you just want to surprise me? How silly can you? I get? I mean, you can get as silly as All you right. like. All right, this needs no no introduction. Yeah. Okay. Your surprise, Brooks. <laughs> Incredible stuff. So, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for locking in, locking on. Um, yeah, we really, really appreciate all the support. Like I said, Anais's newest EP on Hospital Record yeah, debut solo release. Go check it. It was out on the 4th of December. So that little back-to-back -back that we did, we're going to try and like plug our USBs into Rekordbox later and try and work out some of the track lists if possible. Yeah. If not, we'll just kind of say, bleh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the track list. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, so go and check it out. Ultrasounds is out right now. Um, <clears throat> you can see Anais. I mean, if you get onto your Instagram and you'll be posting where you're going to be playing next because I don't have your dates off by heart, unfortunately. I'm next where playing next? a motion for hospitality. Saturday. What room are you in? Uh, the tunnel. You're in the tunnel. The tunnel. Oh, it's grimy in there. It is. Are you going to be playing maybe... Bit no, of no, no, no. I'd never play that in my set just because it's like 110 BPM. Wow, okay. So, tunnel, what time is your set? Uh, one till two. One till two, I'm okay. I'm back to back Kaz. Wow. Oh, jeez. That's, yeah. that's a bit of a double threat right there. Yeah. Have you been back to back with her before? No, but in Hospitality on the Beach, she emceed my set and it was so funny. No way. Yeah, it was jokes. Mate, she's another one, man. She's got great energy. Uh, I love all the Manchester crew, man. They're so much fun. Yeah, that's So sick. this last track, uh, can you just do, just tell the people a little bit of a background story behind yeah. this track? This is Lekka by Possage remix and it's 140 and I just love it. I think it's catchy. 
it's got everything like I'd want for a good tune. There we go. Last tune, Hospital Podcast 469. Let's go. Thank you, Dizzy Orca. Big up yourself. Does it doesn't it mean like nice or Fern good? On. Yeah, what does lekker mean? Please yeah. tell us. Yeah, please. Any Dutch speakers in the house, can you just let us know? And also it's coming home, so you're not you're not taking you're not they're not taking the World Cup home, we're taking it. Or France. Or France. Or France, yeah. okay, okay, cool. <laughs> or Brazil. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, Fernand says it literally means nice. Nice. It doesn't sound quite as good if you go. Nice, 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 nice. No, it really doesn't. I love the Dutch language, man. It's so crazy. Thank you guys so much. Anais, you're a legend, man. And we will see you next Wednesday at 5 p.m. GMT for a special World Cup version. And you know what? I'm going to get this absolute legend. When's the first World Cup game? Monday. Oh, shit. Against the Islamic Republic of Iran. I don't know why I used their full country name, but there we go. I did. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, England, Iran on the Monday. Hopefully we would have won. We'll see you guys Wednesday, 5 p.m. GMT. I will get the amazing Anais to come back on the hospital podcast at Christmas. Um, Anyone you want to shout out right at the end? Uh, Shout out my (laughs) mum. That'll do, man. Shout out Anais' mum. Thank you guys in the chat. Thank you guys for wherever you're listening. And uh, yeah, much love. See you later. Bye.